Hey ladies and gentlemen, Javier here with The Real Javier Novo, where we apply the principles of philosophy, spirituality, and mysticism to rapid lifestyle transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, these are such riveting times, and the energy is fast moving. These are very challenging times, which also means they're very opportunistic times. They're times of great opportunity. These are scary times, and that also means that they're the most rewards to be reaped and the most excitement during these times. It all depends on your perspective. We're teaching the science of manifestation, and we're applying that to rapid lifestyle transformation. And we're doing it because the times call for that, ladies and gentlemen. We're In the next days and weeks coming up, we're going to be getting really deeply into that, into teaching you how to manifest, into teaching you how to mentally rehearse, and into giving you the principles of that and the reasoning behind that. And it's not because you don't know this, because most of you know these concepts. You've heard them before. For those of you who don't, I envy you because once this portal opens up to this new methodology, to this new way of living, to this new way of seeing things and seeing life, and a new way of reaping the rewards of life and the joy and pleasure of life, your life's just going to take off, ladies and gentlemen, because the whole point and purpose of the spiritual is to be able to live on a level that you've never lived before, to be able to practice on a level that you've never practiced before. And as, as we often say in this channel, the whole point of our philosophy is to make your life better. If it doesn't make you better, if it doesn't give you results on the ground, then it's not worth it. But I promise you, if you'll test this methodology and test this philosophy, it is going to give you results on the ground. So I just wanted to talk more about this concept of the boomerang because I've had some questions about it. We can call this the concept of the boomerang, and I do believe that Vadim Zelen touched upon it in his book, Reality Transurfing. And all of the spiritual teachers talk about this. That is when you begin to manifest something and when it's actually clicked, the universe sort of sends you a response that's opposite to that. It may seem that you're still in your old reality or it may even get a little bit worse. And it is as if the universe is asking you, are you serious about this? And the reason this happens is a very clear reason, and it need not happen, by the way. This is not an obligation that this happened. And in fact, the better you get at manifesting, the less turbulence you'll experience when shifting realities. In fact, once you get really good at this, you'll be able to shift them seamlessly. Then it'll be nothing but fun and joy and peace. But occasionally, and subconsciously, I think we do this on purpose as well, even experienced manifestors will experience turbulence. And the reason for that is because you're shaking things up, ladies and gentlemen. In order to change vibrations, the vibrational outlay of all of the atomic parts of your reality have to be shaken up so that they can assume the new position. They may land several times in other positions and the same position and or even in a position that seems like it would be 180 degrees away from what you desire. Take heart and fear not, because this is the test of your faith. This is where the tire or the rubber hits the road. And what you have to do in those circumstances is get more well-rooted in the spiritual tools and the spiritual practices that we teach in our course and in these videos that we're going to be putting out here in the next few days. Because when you can start living solely in your imagination most of the time, and when you can withdraw your attention from the physical to the spiritual at will, you've got the key, ladies and gentlemen, and you won't even care what happens on the outer. So you, look, you begin to look at the outer as sort of a game, not as the main event. No, the main event is what's happening within your skull. And that's the main thrust of the science of manifestation. Because as the Stoics say, we should only focus on those things that we can control. And the only thing we can control in this process is our conception of the end, mentally rehearsing ourselves into the end. And by doing that, 
we become in alignment and click in with our state. And when we do that, we don't even care what happens on the outer. And then, of course, by the law of attraction and the law of assumption, the outer has to yield to what you've created on the inner. So a lot of big videos coming up this week, starting tomorrow with our Sunday service, in which we're going to go deeper into the scriptural basis for why you have been given everything. You've been given the keys to the kingdom, and you've been given the ability to create and to manifest from the spiritual to the physical. Once we increase our faith in that, then we can move forward boldly. And the rest of this week, we are going to cover the steps of manifestation and the science of manifestation and some very important issues surrounding that, as well as continuing on with our series of teaching you how to rapidly transform your life by going into homesteading, going into the nitty-gritty aspects on the ground. We're also going to explain why you would even need to do any of that or why you would need to prepare any of that given this spiritual modality. So have a great weekend, guys. And please join, subscribe to our channel, and like our videos because it helps us get the word out. It helps us with the algorithm. Also, please feel free to comment. We have a Facebook group for Master Manifestors where, where daily I put out material and you'll get to converse with me and other Master Manifestors so that we can decide exactly what to do during these turbulent times. I'm also doing coaching calls, guys, that are dynamic. I've already got great reviews on the calls we've done. Please email me to schedule a call and I will take you by the hand and help you work through whatever issues you have in your unique set of circumstances. So until very soon, with great love and appreciation, this is Javier and I'll see you soon.